video we are going to learn the conversion see you can find it here in numeric palette and there are there are lots of conversion uh, palettes you can see here okay so i will just give you the brief overview i won't show you the each and every example of this palette so just uh, look at it and you can try it yourself it's uh, very easy the so first is uh, to extend precision float what it do is it converts number to an extended precision floating point number so whatever you give your number it will just convert it to extended precision now here double precision same as the previous one but it converts number to double precision floating point number now see third one is single precision same as the previous one it converts a number to a single precision floating point number okay so then the last one is to fixed point means convert any non complex number to a fixed point representation means you have to give your number in a fixed point type and you will get the fixed point and if you want to get uh, some details about a fixed point type then you can go to that detail help and uh, there you will find maybe some example also you can find but uh, if you don't find an example you will get uh, some detail help on what to give at this uh, fixed point type okay so, and the fifth one is to quad integer means it will convert the number into a 64 bit integer in the range of 2 raised to 63 to 2 raised to 63 minus 1 okay next is long integer it converts number into 32 bit integer the same way this function rounds all floating points and fixed point numeric value to a nearest integer okay so this is the second feature of this uh, palette then toward integer means it converts a number into 60 16 bit integer means word means 8 bit plus 8 bit so 16 bit uh, integer is there and the range is also given then the byte integer it converts a number to 8 bit integer okay the word is 8 plus 8 and the byte is 8 Okay, the range is also given. It will just convert it into that eight-bit integer. Then to unsign quad integer. Okay, so this is unsigned. So all value will be positive, and it, it converts into sixty-four-bit unsigned integer. Range is zero to two raised to sixty-four minus one. Then the unsigned long integer. Okay, previous one was quad. This is long means thirty two unsigned integer thirty two bit unsigned integer. Then unsigned word integer means sixteen bit unsigned integer. Then byte integer means eight bit unsigned integer. Okay, so next is to extended precision complex. Okay, complex value means it converts a number to an extended precision complex number. Here we saw that extended precision float, and here extended precision complex. Okay, you can convert number into complex value. Then double precision complex. Next one is single precision complex. Now see number two boolean array. Okay, so what it will do? It converts an integer or fixed point number. to a boolean array means if we wire an integer to a number it converts boolean array returns it converts that into boolean array and it returns an array of 8 16 32 32 or 64 elements depending on the number of bits in the integer and if you wire a fixed point number to a number okay the size of array that boolean array returns equals to the world world length of fixed point number 
uh, to understand this palette better i will show you that some example in later video just uh, here i will give you the overview okay so number to boolean array then boolean array to number okay same vice versa then boolean to 0 and 1 what it do it converts a boolean means false or true value to 16 bit integer with value of 0 or 1 respectively this also we, we will see then to timestamp see it converts a number to a timestamp okay so you will get some timestamp from your number by using this palette then string to byte array okay, it converts a string into an array of unsigned bytes Then byte array to string, vice versa. Then convert unit. It converts a, a physical number. And suppose a number that has a unit like a meter per second. Okay, so it converts a physical number to a pure number, a number with no units, or a pure or a pure number to a physical number okay so what you can do right click the function and select build unit string from the shortcut menu to build and edit a string of units this we will also see in next videos and uh, cast unit basis okay what it do it changes the base units associated with the input to the base unit associated with unit okay and returns the results at the output terminal okay so it changes the base units associated with the input to the base unit associated with the unit okay so this eight we will see some example in the next videos so you will get some better idea on that and this is color to RGB whatever color you will give it will separate out that red green blue values so that you can use it anywhere and the same is RGB to color if you give red green and blue it will give you the color okay so these two also we will see in next videos okay so that's it for now that conversion just try it yourself those uh, palettes and uh, for this we will make some videos on that okay so bye